This is Papa Brad coming at you with a review of R-Type Leo. Brand new shooter available on the iArcade. Developed by IREM in 1992. This would be the final R-Type game that was actually seen in arcades. Congratulations to iArcade, who now has all the real R-Type games that were playable in arcades on the system. R-Type Leo is a 1992 horizontal scrolling shooter game developed by Nano and released by iRem. This game is a spin-off of the R-Type series and the last R-Type entry to be released in arcades. In 1992, most arcades were transitioning to having more fighting games rather than shmups. This is a crowning achievement of the R-Type series and one of the best games for casuals looking to get into R-Type as it is much easier and much more approachable than R-Type 1 or R-Type 2. The game features a lot of the great aliens inspired and biological horror type art that the R-Type series is known for. So it definitely has a lot of elements that do make it an R-Type game. Although you can definitely tell it was not originally developed to be an R-Type game. This game to me feels a lot more like a Toplin shooter and it's probably one of the reasons why I like it so much. And to me, I think this is my favorite R-Type game. In Leo, players take control of the space fighter to travel to a man-made mechanical planet Eden and destroy its supercomputer core major. The game was initially conceived as a shoot 'em up by Nano before being retooled to an R-Type project by Irem. As I continue my gameplay, I'm entering an asteroid field. Check out the amazing graphics on this. This is awesome. As I destroy these asteroids, with the planet in the background, this is a beautiful game. And this has all the elements that I love in a good shmup. You've got weapon power-ups. You've got different weapon types that you can uh, use for the different enemies. Um, it just feels all right. There's a lot of bullet hell elements when you get into the bosses where these bullets are going everywhere. But everything in this game is fantastic. I would highly recommend this game uh, for people that aren't even huge fans of shmups. Because this is a good introduction to this genre. Here we have some bullet hell mechanics happening. R-Type 1 and 2 have a very high barrier to entry. Uh, this game is much easier to get into. It's much more fun. I think casuals are going to love R-Type Leo. R-Type Leo features multiple deviations from the R-Type gameplay structure. The most notable change is the removal of the Force, a shield item from previous installments of the franchise known as R-Type. In this game, the player is instead given two side-bit satellites that follow them and fire at enemies. There are power-ups that can be collected to grant Leo access to new weapons. Weapon types include a powerful laser beam, a homing shot, and a laser that reflects off of walls. R-Type Leo is a horizontal scrolling shooter that is part of the R-Type series. The plot involves a man-made mechanical planet named Eden, which after its supercomputer core called Major begins to malfunction, uses its defense systems and machines to destroy what is left of mankind. In response, a starfighter named Leo is deployed to destroy Eden. Leo features gameplay similar to its R-Type predecessors. Player fires through each stage, destroying constantly moving formations of enemies and avoiding their projectiles and stage obstacles. I'm just going to show some clips of different parts of the game that I thought were really cool. Uh, one of the great things about the game is it's always switching up different kinds of bosses and the environments change a lot. But it does have that biological horror element that you'd expect out of an R-Type game. Check out this boss. How cool is this? And um, really great game. I mean, very easy to get into as well. So um, I'm going to give this one a super strong recommendation. I would put this probably on one of my must-own shmups on the iArcade. iArcade is already pretty much a system that has really built its strength around having a incredible shmup library. And this is just like a crown jewel um, in its crown. A uh, fantastic game. Um, definitely don't sleep on R-Type Leo. It's a lot of fun. 
This is one I'm glad that I Arcade got. Pretty much completes the circle of the true R-Type arcade games. You know, and for IRK, this is a huge win. I mean, they have the entire Double Dragon series. They have the entire Dragon's Lair trilogy. Um, and now they have the entire R-Type series. Just fantastic. Do more of this. This is what I love about IRK. Keep getting these great games like this, because this is, this is what makes this machine shine. R-Type Leo has online co-op play. Real arcade game, you can play it with your friends online right now on iArcade. Uh, this is a fantastic title. I would uh, say that this is, um, if you're into shmups, this is a great one to get. Uh, if you're not into shmups, this is a great one to start with because it's easy to pick up and play. It's a lot of fun. It does allow you to continue, which makes it way easier than the other two R-Type games. If you're new to iArcade, welcome to the channel. This is Papa Brad's Gaming. Um, hit that like button while you're here. And, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel so you can get more uh, updates on iArcade games. I also run a show called The iArcadians. It comes on bi-weekly. iArcadians is an independent, fan-made show that serves the iArcade community. We do game reviews. We have panel discussions. It's a great group. It's a great show. Check it out. This is Papa Brad reminding you to stay legit. Be sure to check out the iArcadians present where we go over every single game on the iArcade as of 2022 with a huge crew of the iArcadians. Click on the playlist in the top right corner of this video to check out the iArcadians present and thank you for watching.